Hello. Let me get Tiki Takis going. Oh, it's going to be so pretty. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, red. Do you see what I see? The big update isn't out yet, red, but they're close. They're getting there from the looks of it. This was last year. They made a dev vlog uh, last year about the last piece like getting it released and all that and that's when they add in the space version 2 red that's when we both can lose our shit and start really playing it up again um here it is wait i don't see wait, where is it go back to my news on it yeah, I want to see. I started a save file, so I almost don't want to start a new save file just because how long it takes to start one. So we're gonna. I'm gonna start a new one, right? And then I'm gonna just go back to the main menu and continue the one I'm playing, just so I can demonstrate every to everybody. Um, yeah. So there's the there's the space age dev blog. There it is. Yeah. So I've already pretty much seen this. Oh, wait, what's this? The Universe Progress update? I never read this yet. Because the Space Dev blog read was telling everything about alien planets and, like, experiencing alien races that you could, like, fight or they could, like, be not... They're not they might not be friendly to you. So there's so many cool things they were talking about. Here we are again, Red. Here we are, one year later. Nuggets. Sorry, I'm just reading. <gasps> Dominique, you made it. All right, let me close all this down. I was just looking into this. So this is the universe. Sim, are you ready? I'm gonna I'm gonna start it up on TikTok. We can be chaotic in this game too, by the way. So Beans will approve. Okay, audience control, the universe sim. All right, Dick Doc, now's the time. And we're live. Let's give it a swig. I want to wait for everyone to be here so you guys can all see the intro. Because the game intro is beautiful. <gasps> Michaela, I see you. Hello. Are you ready? Dominique, there you are on, on Team TikTok. Let's do this, guys. C, Red, I see you joining. <laughs> I'm good, how are you? So good to see your face. Dominique, thank you for the TGIF. Why, why does it seem... You sent... You, like, just sent those last week. It seems like it's already been... It seems like it was, like, just Friday, though. It seems like you sent those, like, just a few days ago. So trippy. No fucking way, dude. Sammy, hello. Welcome back. And hi, Destiny. Alright, excuse me. Am I on? Um, okay. <laughs> Maybe that's what it was. That could have been it, Dominique. Maybe that's what, because otherwise there's no fucking way. Like, I'm, I'm like, what? No overtime? Hell yeah. T 
Kiki. So you're home. Oh my gosh, you excited though? So see, Sammy, yeah, guys, the universe sim, it is a simulation game. So obviously we all like sims because it's a life sim. So this game is still in development. It's something I've been following for some years. Uh, but this game is like a universe simulation, if you will. But it's more so focused on you think of like Age of Empires in a way. You know how you have like, well, I don't know if I really want to compare it to Age of Empires, but you kind of have like, you start out with nuggets is what they're called. So you got people, they call them nuggets, and you start in the prehistoric age. And you have to actually research things to unlock for them. Then they'll start automatically building houses. You get to place down things like resource management. So let's say you need to gather wood. So you can create a lumber yard, you can create like a mine area you create a way to um, basically take water you know you have to you have to harvest water things like that you have to store the water so you have to there are there are some resource management to it but while you're also doing that um, you have to be careful because as you go through the ages you can pollute your own planet and it becomes almost uninhabitable so you have to be very mindful on that but as you age and as you unlock things in the game you can repair your planet i actually almost killed my planet it was really bad i believe my nuggets were dying because the the air was so polluted and the water was polluted it was just not good like there was like green shit emanating from it it was like the dystopian future in the sims 3 so um yeah, but you can repair it. You can. There are some things you can research and build. So, Nicholas, actually, I did I did get some chippies tonight. There's a small snack hall in my closet. But I'm going to go ahead and start a new game for you guys. And then I'm going to actually pick up to where I left off already. Because this game does take some time to play. And I've already got a game that I started. But I want you guys to see the intro and, and it telling you about what the game is. Because it's absolutely beautiful. And, um... <laughs> what, Sammy? What? Yeah, so I'll show you. I'll show you guys. I'll show you. So, new game. Um, I'll just, I'm just going to pick a default here. It doesn't really matter because we're not going to really do, do this one. Uh, we'll just go ahead and start new life. Now, I'm going to let you guys see the whole intro because the intro, I think, is beautiful. And I think this will also help show you guys what the game is more about. So, so yeah, but this game is called The Universe Sim. It's a simulation game of... You basically taking care of a civilization. You get to grow it from prehistoric age all the way to space age, and then you can go and terraform other planets and your own moon, and you get to keep going on and surviving. Um, terraforming other planets is currently in development, but you can go and um, you can currently go and shit. What is what I'm looking for? Uh, terraform your own moon, and you can create your moon to become ha like habitable. Thank you for the gifties, guys. Oh fuck me! All right, piss Wait. off. Wake up, creator. My fucking camera. This is the beginning of your Can you guys hear it? It starts with nothing. Okay, I'm gonna turn it nothing up for you guys. But an infinite void. However, you with a single touch can awaken the light. You guys ready? Here we go. And so the universe sprang into being. Worlds filled with endless potential were scattered into the beyond. They formed into many different shapes and sizes. And while most were doomed to drift among the cosmos Aww. barren and alone. Barren and alone. Others flourished. These few planets soon became home to the greatest phenomenon of all. Look at that. Life. Look at life is a peculiar thing. It comes and goes as swiftly as a bit of space debris burning up in an atmosphere. A creator's purpose was always that of an observer, to simply admire the fleeting beauty of life's beginnings and ends. Yet, this balance could never last. The issue with allowing a species to evolve independently is that they always fail to do so. For life to have a better chance of succeeding, it needs a helping hand. Ah, here we are. 
Welcome to Mother Planet. This is a bare sight. For it came to be that there was day and night. Warmth and cold. There you go. And water that flowed through the planet's veins. Hopefully they helped, Red. The soil was rich with minerals, which gave rise to a thick blanket of green. The perfect ecosystem was formed. It is no wonder, then, why life has chosen to inhabit it. A new species has been born, and they need guidance. This is your purpose now. Their very existence rests in your hands. Man, I was, I was really hoping that they were going to show you the really exciting stuff. Like, you guys should have seen the, um, the actual, like trailer trailer for this game because it gets intense we should do that <gasps> sir nomi it's good to see you again welcome back yeah so everybody that was watching here i wanted to just kind of let you guys see the intro but yeah it's those other planets that you saw are going to be added later on and you're going to be able to explore those other alien planets and see those other aliens in the game and like interact with them in a way right but that's those are some of the other future challenges that we'll be able to see so currently um, this is pretty much what we have, but I, I do want to play that trailer, though, because... Oh, give me a second. I want you guys to see this, because it's really exciting. I know the animal getting... Yeah, I know, that was... <laughs> I love it. Dating your guys' reaction to it, just getting just smushed and eaten. Okay. This game, I actually started following, I think, back in, um... Either 2014 or 2015, as I think when I first heard about it. And... It's it's it definitely a huge passion of interest for. Um, I'm really excited. I, I, it's a god game, basically. But it's something that... It, it's just I love it. I think it's great. There's not many other games that are really like this, that really fill the void that this one fills. So, And I'm really excited for you guys to see it. Yeah, I, I will play it 100%. I want to play it with you guys. I do want you guys to see like the intensity of one of the trailers, though. Because... Oh, oh, hang on. Is it this one? Oh yeah, let's let's do um let's do this one. If you guys don't mind, because this Yeah, yeah, let's do this one. Yeah, yeah, this one. This is the trailer that a lot of us like will remember. When I say us, like people who were following the project. By the way, guys, thank you for all the gifties earlier. Um this game is available on Steam, actually, for thirty dollars. So hey, let me see here. I think I have to go to TikTok, add source. I want you guys to see this video we can watch together real quick. Because this one will show a little bit more intensity of the of what's promised. This is what they're promising for the game, and uh, that's why I'm excited because they're they are talking about um, getting that stuff in here. Jess, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the community. Uh, yeah, Bryce, thirty dollars. Uh, let's see here. Uh, here we go. So hopefully you guys can see this. I'm gonna move this up here. Put that over here. And we're just going to check this out. This is the trailer that I saw. When was this posted? Ah, 2014. So, there you go. All right, here we go. So, this was way before the game was at the state that it's currently at. This is just what they were kind of... It's a develop, It's a thing what they were trying to promise. This, is, this was the dream of the game. So, their, their vision. As a mass of rock and air. Molded together in the infinite fabric of space. Oh, they got struck by lightning. Oh my god. To create the perfect hopefully I don't get life. hopefully I don't get struck again so they don't die. <laughs> Hi ATE. I am a living planet. Oh guys. It gets intense. So as you can see the graphics are a bit older looking. It's it was it's it's progressed in many ways now. I think this is more proof of concept or like just a concept video. Until one day, life burned into existence. They began so small, so fragile, so very young. But with time, they grew stronger. Yeah, look at that. And civilizations rose from the dust. <gasps> okay, Michelle, so we'll see you later. Metal, their technologies advanced. Soon, they learned to swim. <gasps> Ooh! And eventually, they learned how to fly. We started prehistoric and now look modern. Oh, guys. Oh. For a time, I thought we would be friends. But 
that was not to be. They drained my resources for centuries until I had nothing left to give. Lexi, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the community. They endured my disasters and cured whatever diseases I could unleash. You actually, there are disasters too. You do get um, fire, <laughs> the, day, the cow, firestorms, tornadoes, all that stuff. Searching for others like me. The cow. Look at them leaving. And that's what we're going to be able to do. We already can do that to the moon, though. No, was that they were not alone. This, this, this part. The Planet Crusher. Oh my fucking gosh. I lost my shit when I saw this video back in the day. That's the part I really wanted to show you because that's what's coming next. That's what they're currently working on. So they're trying, that's like, that was their planned release version where they're going to have, like I said, the ability to travel to other planets, see other alien life that are going to be hostile. Um, additionally, um, that planet crusher is going to be a thing as well. So that is really, really exciting to see. I'm glad, I'm happy to see them um, really working towards that. We can actually just close this down though. We can, we can just get into the game now. So I'm sure you guys probably are done watching stuff. Uh, but yeah, so let's go ahead and I'll load a game that I started uh, literally yesterday. <laughs> I have currently 78 population. Oh, look at me grow. Eh, I don't want to save. We'll just do this one. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, we'll hold this one. Yeah, it's it's a really interesting game. I love it. It's Like I said, it's, it's, a, it's a god simulation in a sense. So you're basically, um, you're taking the role as a god, and you basically are guiding a civilization and hoping not having them die. So, hi Delta, welcome back in Yeo, good to see you. Yeah, I think so too, Dominique. This game, I think, has a lot of, like, it definitely feels like there's a lot of passion behind this project. It actually was a Kickstarter back in the day, by the way. I have some troubling news. Your workers did absolutely nothing while you were gone. <laughs> Shall I fetch the whip? Okay, a little laggy start, but guys, what's really cool about the game? Like we can zoom in. This is all. These are my nuggets. Um, I actually set the game to where I have unlimited god power, so I can do things as a god. Like for example, I can heal everybody, which I like to just keep up with. This normally would cost like cost power, and in order for you to get god power, you have to make sure you maintain people of them believing in you. They don't have to believe in you. Like these little nuggets here, each individually, they all have their own like. That you can assign them specifically what to do tells you their age their health how much hunger they have water like each individual one we can name them if you wanted to you can follow them around i could specifically set that i want this one to like mate with another nugget if i wanted to um but yeah is this too loud actually because i did turn it up a lot by the way it's good on tiktok okay because i turned it up a lot Oh, really, Sosun? I can turn it up more. This game is a bit quieter. Yo, thank you for the rose. Here, I'll turn it up all the way. Let me know how that is, guys. I don't like how laggy it's being, actually. What I really want to show you, though, is the clouds, too. So, they cast shadows, of course. But what also is neat is when they're raining. Like, it's like raining in certain areas. But look at this. But also, watch. If I zoom out just enough to go into the clouds. Look at wait, wait. We can go into the clouds. See? And your screen will get... See how the screen's getting wet? Because we're in the clouds? Isn't that cute? I think that's so cute. But yeah, this is I actually set us on a tiny planet to live on too, by the way. Yeah, I do I love the small little details. I don't know why it's so laggy. Is it because I'm streaming? Maybe this game is actually pretty demanding. Maybe that's the issue. Days since last work related injury. Here's what I'm gonna do. Zero. I think I'm gonna cut off Twitch. So anyone watching on Twitch, if you want to continue the stream or watching the stream, head on over to TikTok. I think this might help my computer because it is lagging a bit for me. So give me one sec. So everyone on Twitch, um, I welcome you to the TikTok stream to continue watching. I'm sorry, but I am going to cut it off just to kind of help with my computer and performance. Um, but all right, hopefully I'll see you there, okay? Sorry for it being such a short stream, everybody, on uh, TikTok or on Twitch.